Hey kids, it's Chef Sack here again. We got some fun snacks for you. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So our first one, we're going to use a cucumber, a cheese stick, a red pepper, a toothpick, and a couple pretzel sticks. So I'm gonna take my cheese stick. I think you guys probably know what this guy is. Just a good piece of cheese. And now that I've eaten our main ingredient, I'm gonna open another one here. cheese. So after I've opened my cheese stick here, I've got the cucumber. I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to cut a couple pieces off. Now, if you wanted to make this at home, you're probably going to need an adult to help you out because you do need a sharp knife. So I've got my tiny piece of cucumber here and I'm going to cut a tiny little circle off of it. And I'm going to do that a couple, maybe three more times. So what I've got are four tiny cucumber circles and we're going to set them aside for a second and come back to our cheese stick. Now this is where the toothpick comes into play. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to take this toothpick and I'm going to break it in half, right in half. Just, oh, well, that one's broken in the wrong spot. Now what you want are two even, even halves. And now take your cheese stick and I'm going to go pretty close to the end here and I'm going to stick it right through the middle like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the cheese stick with the other half of the toothpick. I'm going to carefully slide this through. Now you don't want to split your cheese stick in half because it's going to make it really hard to finish our snack here. And now you see there's toothpicks in this piece of cheese. And you can't eat toothpicks. So if you're going to go ahead and make this treat, which I think you might want to because it's going to be fun at the end. There's a surprise. You're going to have to take these out before you eat it. It'll be real easy. You'll just have to remember they're there and you slide them right out. Now I'm going to put that back because we're not quite done yet. So we've got our stick back in there. Okay, so now come the pieces of cucumber that we cut. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to stick one on each end of these toothpicks like this now you kind of want them to be the cucumber circles you want them to be pretty close to the same size it's not really important but you'll see why it's 
something that you you would want, I think. Our next ingredient, after we get our cucumber circles onto these toothpicks, is going to be our red pepper. And I'm not going to cut this one. I have a piece of pepper here that I'm going to use. But, so this is what we're looking at after we get those cukes on there, those cucumbers. You starting to get an idea of what it might be? I'm gonna keep going. So I've got my piece of pepper here and I'm gonna cut some teeny little pieces of it. I need four of these too, just like the cukes. You want the pieces of pepper to be a little bit smaller than your cucumber pieces. So I've got my four pieces of pepper. I've got my cheese and cucumber contraption. Now we're gonna put them together. You're gonna take the little pieces of pepper and you're going to stick them on the end of the toothpick that's coming out of the cucumber. And you're going to do that on all four points just like we did before. This one's being a little bit tricky on me. Okay. So we're almost, we're almost done here. Our next ingredient is going to be another piece of pretzel stick. And we're gonna take this stick and we're gonna put it, can you see what I'm doing? In between our two tires, our two cucumber circles. Like this. So that it's sticking right up like that. Next. I'm going to use another piece of cheese, which I didn't mention before. So you might need two cheese sticks for this snack. I'm going to use the one that I bit and I'm going to cut the other end. I just need a teeny piece, maybe this much of it. You're going to take this piece of cheese and you're going to put it on the end of your pretzel stick. And we're almost, almost there. And take another pretzel stick. I'm gonna cut this one in half because I want two pieces. And I'm going to put them into that piece of cheese we were just talking about. And what do you know? We have a cheese stick scooter made of cucumbers, red peppers, and pretzels. And our surprise here, okay, the handlebars are gonna fall off. But this guy should roll like an actual scooter. Let's see, let's go again, have it race down my cutting board. It's not much of a scooter anymore. It's more of a, a log with wheels, but so I'm gonna eat this guy 
Remember, you need to take out your toothpick. My scooter's completely falling apart. I hope you got a good look at it. But then you got a nice, a nice bite of veggies and cheese, which... Who doesn't like veggies and cheese? Mm. 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 Sorry about that. That was really, really tasty. No, no more eating. Gotta keep on going here. So that was our banana scooter, or our uh, cheese stick scooter, that uh, is gone because I shoved it in my mouth. So I'm going to start on our next one, and I'm going to keep this one a surprise too. So you're going to need a banana. You're going to need some more pretzel sticks. You're going to need some round crackers. I have Ritz crackers here. They're some of my favorites. You're going to need a few Cheerios. And if you want some raisins. So I'm going to get going here. Got my banana. I'm going to cut it right about here. And I'm going to take the peel off. You can peel it too and cut it or break it. I just felt like cutting into it whole. So you want a piece of banana, maybe this big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a teeny piece of it out of the middle here. Not a big piece, just something kind of teeny. I love bananas. So. You see, I've just taken a teeny, tiny wedge. Not very important, but next ingredient, two pretzel sticks. Now, kind of like the cheese, I'm gonna stick this carefully and slowly through the end of this banana. Oop. Broke my stick. Get yourself another one. I'm gonna slowly and carefully move this pretzel stick through the banana and try and hope that the banana doesn't split. And we've got something looking a little bit like this. I'm gonna do that again on the back. Again, just like the cheese stick. Here, here we go. Here we go. And we've got something like this. 
So you're gonna take this and you're gonna set this aside because we're gonna come back to it in a little bit. On the way back over there. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you have your Ritz crackers here. Now this is gonna take some patience. You might break a couple crackers if you try this. I broke a couple um, when I was trying to do it, but you're gonna take a toothpick and you just kinda of, kinda, of, you see how these Ritz crackers have holes all over them? I'm gonna go for this middle hole here. I wanna make this hole bigger, but not much bigger. And I'm gonna do that to four of them because that's how many we need for our banana snack here. So I've got my cracker and I'm just gonna start poking around that center hole. I'm moving around in a circle very carefully. Until I've got something like that. I'm gonna do that to all four of them. I love Ritz crackers. One of my favorite snacks, just all by himself. And bananas with Ritz crackers. Big step up. So we've got our four crackers, each with a larger hole in them. Here, let's see if you can look through all four of them. Uh, yeah, there we go. Kinda. Kinda, sorta. Huh. Okay. So, go back to the banana. Go back to your cracker. Now we're gonna try to fit the end of that pretzel stick through the hole in this cracker. And you wanna be careful not to make the hole in the cracker too much bigger. It's all right if it gets a little bigger, but you're gonna do that to all four pieces, all four points of the pretzel. And I think you might be starting to figure out what we're making here. But we've got the crackers on the banana. On the pretzel sticks, on the banana. So the next step here is you're gonna take the banana that you didn't use all of, or another banana if you decided to eat it, which I, I might have done. I'm gonna peel this back a little bit more and make four circles. Kind of like we did with the cucumber. I'm gonna do to this banana right here. So I'm gonna cut them about the same size as those cucumbers before. Just like this. And one for me. Take your circle and you're also going to put that over each end of the pretzel stick that you can see here. So I've got one, two, maybe, yep, a three, and finally, Number four. Okay. Okay, we've got them on there. And let me show you what we've got going on here. Have you figured out? Have you figured it out yet? I think you must have figured it out that I'm making a banana car. A banana car! 
So now come our Cheerios, which I've got here. I've got two of them. You know, I'm gonna use four of them. And we're just gonna stick them on the front of this banana. Alrighty. We're gonna use two, not four. So, I've got our Cheerio headlights for safety on the road. A couple of raisins. Just basically for decoration and flavor. And we're gonna stick them right here. And on the back. Okay. Now. Are we still recording? So, the last piece of our banana car is our passenger. And for that, we've got some animal crackers. I'm gonna pick... What's this guy? This is a seal. Or a dog. I think it's a seal. In any case, they're gonna drive the banana car. So you're gonna take your passenger and you just kind of stick them into the banana because the banana is pretty soft. And there we have it. There we have it, kids. I bet you never thought you'd see a seal driving banana, huh? So let's try our test. See if it actually drives. I'm gonna try to send it on over to you. And I hope it doesn't crash. I kinda wanna use it later too. Would you look at that? The banana car was successful and lives to see another day. And we will revisit that one in a little bit. But first, we've got to do our third snack, which I hope you were excited about because I'm excited about it. For our, our third and final snack of the day, we're going to need some more cheese. I've got mozzarella balls here because they're my favorite. We're gonna need Ritz crackers. I don't know if I said that or not. Pretzel sticks, cheese, Ritz crackers. And that might be it. In any case, let's begin. So I've got some pretzel sticks here. And I'm gonna get them arranged how I would like them. Now this is going to be our trickiest one, I think. But I hope you guys like the, the results. So, I don't know if you can see this. I've got a sort of diamond shape. How do I? There we go. Made of pretzel sticks. 
and I'm gonna take a piece of cheese and I'm gonna start sticking pretzels into this cheese. Alright, that's three pieces of cheese, three pieces of pretzel, and what we're looking at now is a triangle, kind of freestanding triangle. We've still got two more pieces of pretzel here. I'm going to keep on sticking. Another piece of cheese. Keep on sticking until you have something that looks like this. So I have got six pretzel sticks and four pieces of cheese so far, making this shape that we're going to keep going on. One more piece of cheese. So this is what you're trying to make here. So we go back now to our Ritz crackers and I'm gonna do the same thing that we just did for the banana car with these. So four of them again make the hole a little bit bigger and be very careful not to make it too big. Well I guess not very careful it won't be the end of the world if you crack a cracker but it'll make your life easier if you're trying to do what I'm doing. So I've got two done, on to my third. I've got three done. And down to the last one here. So after you've poked holes in your crackers, you want to get another couple of pretzel sticks. Yes, I know, lots and lots of pretzels. And you're going to try and stick it sideways. Through your cheese balls or any kind of cheese. You're just going to want small pieces kind of this big cut up of any sort of cheese will do. So I'm going to take another pretzel stick and stick it down through this one here. I don't like that one. I don't like this pretzel stick. I'm going to use a different one. I like this guy. Yeah. So through we go. And what you'll be left with is something that looks a little bit like this. Can you start to maybe guess what we're making here? So we go back to our crackers that we put holes in again, and we're going to stick them just like our other two snacks on the ends of the pretzel sticks, all four of them. We've got one, we've got our second one. Now time, this was a very tricky snack to make, but I hope it's worth it. I think it will be worth it. Here we go for number three, and we got him. 
Oh, we're starting to get a little topsy turvy. Topsy turvy. And there it is. We got our last one on there. So I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but this is a bicycle made out of Ritz crackers, mozzarella cheese, and pretzel sticks. Now I don't think it'll survive a ride down the street, but let's see if it moves. I think it will. No? Well, kinda. Well, it's a good thing people don't make bicycles out of pretzels, I suppose. But. Definitely fun to play with. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this this guy apart here and start to oh look, our bicycle crashed. It was fun while it lasted. Well in any case I'm gonna start eating here. See what we got going on. Mm. Pretzel. I love Ritz crackers. Mm. Okay. So back to our favorite here. The banana car is gonna drive right into my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Bananas are a really special thing. Really, really good. Really, really good for you. Man. Mmm. All right, thanks for having me kids. Thanks for having me, Mr. Robbie. I've had a lot of fun today, making vehicles, cheese scooters, banana cars, pretzel bikes and whatnot. I hope you had as much fun as I did because I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. And I hope to see you guys again next month. So, bye now.